To create an interactive video in the H5P Studio, you'll need to start with getting the link for a YouTube video that you have hosted online. You can use videos that are found uh, broadly in the YouTube search area, but you will want to make sure that you understand and know about the copyright license and restrictions for YouTube videos. Alternatively, if this is a video that you have created and hosted yourself as an unlisted YouTube video, then you are licensed to go ahead and use these to build interactive H5P content. So I have an unlisted YouTube channel or YouTube account. And in here, I have privately held videos. In my unlisted videos, you can see that I have this intro to Excel. And all I'm gonna do is get the shareable link for my YouTube video. In the H5P Studio, in my dashboard area, I'm gonna create a new interactive video. So I'm going to create content and the type of content that I'm going to look for is the interactive video. You can use the search bar to search or you can just click this in your recent area. Remember that in all H5P interactives, there is a built in tutorial and example that you can consult. And I'll start by going ahead and filling in the title of my video intro to Excel. You'll see that I have steps, three steps available. Step one, upload and embed a video. Step two, add interactions. And step three, adding in an optional summary task. For this video, I'm going to start by adding a video. Notice that the red asterisk indicates any content that is a mandatory for you to fill out. Go ahead and click the plus button to add the link to your video file. If you have a video hosted already with captions, say from Video Puppet or another fully captioned video that's downloaded to your desktop, you can directly upload a video file. However, often we don't have captions on our videos, and this is why we use the YouTube channel. Paste in the link to your YouTube channel video and insert that into this area. You'll also want to assign some copyrights to your video. Remembering the video is Intro to Excel. The author is your own self. And it was produced in the year in which you recorded it. You can include a source to link back to your original video. And you can choose the license that you might associate with your video. Many people choose to use a Creative Commons license. Here, the Creative Commons license of an attribution by non-commercial and share alike. Some people might choose to fully copyright their videos. So once the copyright license is assigned, you can go ahead and start to add interactions on top of your video. You'll see that you see a video preview and the options for what kinds of interactions run along the top. You have the ability to add text, small tables, hyperlinks to external resources, images to help supplement the information in the video, statements including text that you might want to co-present. You can do interactive tests like single choice or multiple choice quizzes, true or false questions, fill in the blanks, drag and drops, mark the words, and more. Go ahead and begin by queuing up the video to the location at which you'd like to add an interactive. You can use the play button to watch the video or pause the video. And you can go ahead and start to add in things like multiple choice or true or false. Each of these will ask you to build it a little bit differently. Let's take a look at the example of a multiple choice. In this case, I'll want to scroll up a little bit to see all the options available to me. And remember again that there is a tutorial and example for how to build multiple choice options on top of your interactive. I can control the time at which it displays and the default is for it to display for approximately 10 seconds. I would encourage trimming this down to approximately only five seconds of viewing time. Select the option to pause the video so that the video stops behind while students are prompted to answer the interactive. 
And rather than having it display as a button, I often opt to choose to have it appear as a poster. In this multiple choice title, I'm going to choose to title it multiple choice. And then I'll begin building the multiple choice question that students might see. In this case, I've added the problem, what function might help solve this problem most efficiently? And included one, two, three, four different options that students might choose from. VLOOKUP, SUMIF, COUNTIF, and LOOKUP. I'll designate the right answer by choosing the correct box at the bottom. Once I've got my interactive set, I'll look for the blue done button at the very bottom. On my screen, on my video preview, I'll see a preview as well of that multiple choice question that my students will need to see. I'll stretch out the size of the interactive to make sure that it's an appropriate size that students can see all of the options and the, the choice to check their learning at the very bottom. I want to make sure as well that my interactive doesn't cover over any necessary information that might appear on the page for students to refer to as they think through the problem that I've presented. I can continue to move and navigate through the video, adding additional interactives as is appropriate. Continue to add interactives like true or false, fill in the blank, or drag the word solutions for students to work through as they watch the video. Again, be sure that the interactives don't overlay any information that students might need to interact with as they go through their solutions. In the final step, jump into step three, the summary task. This is an optional task where students can do a final consolidation of their knowledge. It would involve uh, some introductory text that would allow students that would guide students in understanding how to organize the statements and a series of statements which students can select uh, to determine which is correct. This helps consolidate learning. Once you've had all of the options available to students presented to them, at the very end, you'll wanna make sure that you have copied and pasted the title of your interactive over into the description field on the left or on the left. In the description title, you can copy and paste the exact title that you use in the interactive, and you'll want to make sure that you choose an appropriate subject topic. Once you've completed your interactive, hit save, and you'll appear at a preview that reflects the interactive video you have constructed. In the preview, you'll then be able to either use the link at the top, or the embed code to share your video. Take a look at our video on how to share or link your H5P Studio content in your courses for more information. You can continue to edit your interactive video here or in your dashboard. Simply click on the Excel icon on the edit icon at the end to be able to edit your video.